Hi, I'm Yuri, Yuri Nation. You may know me from the last time you went to the toilet. That sounded so much less awkward in my head. You probably think of me as waste, but you've got me all wrong. I'm liquid gold. I contain nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, all of which come from the vegetables, fruit and grain you eat. Once humans are done with them, they end up in me. And why is that important? Well, plants need these vital nutrients to grow. No ifs or buts. There are no substitutes. These chemicals are essential for life. If you've ever had a grandparent tell you it's good to pee on a lemon tree, you know where I'm going with this. Your urine contains these nutrients. Plants grow using these nutrients and you eat the plant's produce. Pea, plant, produce. Pea, plant, produce. And so on. It's a cycle. A nutrient cycle. One of the many such cycles which sustain life on Earth. Chemical elements neither created or destroyed, but flowing through us and the plants again and again. Or it could be a cycle if you didn't just flush me and my nutrients away. With me out of the picture, plants still need these essential nutrients, so farmers must make up any shortfall by bringing in help from outside the cycle, in the form of synthetic fertilisers. These fertilisers certainly do the job, but they're not without problems. Nitrogen fertilisers are produced using large amounts of natural gas. The process is expensive, energy intensive and pollutes the air. Potassium comes largely from mining of potassium salt known as potash. Mining, processing and transporting are messy and again energy intensive and expensive. Phosphorus mining even more so, plus it's a non-renewable resource. Some are suggesting it will become increasingly difficult to access over the next 100 years. And any excess fertiliser can be washed away into rivers and streams. A bit like me being flushed, really. And in flushing me, you also waste water. Four out of five flushes are for urine. That's 900 billion gallons of clean, drinkable, showerable, cook withable water per year in the US alone. Urine is less than 1% of wastewater, but contains most of the nitrogen and phosphorus. Often rural and semi-rural areas don't have the expensive facilities to get the nutrients from me and you out of the treated wastewater. And that's a problem, because half of us live in small towns and we're all downstream from somewhere. These same nutrients in urine and synthetic fertilisers that are vital for crops can also fertilise dangerous algal growth in our rivers and lakes. It's not just green and stinky. Some algal blooms can actually produce toxins that affect the skin, liver and nervous system. Algae can make water unfit for swimming, drinking and even breathing, if you're a fish. The resulting oxygen depletion creates huge, unlivable dead zones. The common factor in all these problems is me. But I could just as easily be the solution. What we all really need is to close the gap in our nutrient cycle. A way to use me again and again. A sort of pea cycling. You guys can totally use that. The first step is straightforward. You catch me with urine diverting toilets and urinals. These keep me separate from uh, solids and solid waste and are cheaper than pulling the nutrients out of the waste stream later on. They also save water with less flushing. And beyond that, well, we're still working it out. That's exactly why you're watching this. Research and pilot programs here and overseas have provided us with a lot of good options, and now we have to put them to the test. So scientists, social scientists, engineers, designers, educators, communicators, farmers, regulators, planners, consumers, and you can all work together to decide the best way to harness the potential of pee. The current design of urine catching toilets and urinals isn't bad, but will certainly be improved based on user experience and feedback. Collection could happen at different scales, in the home, neighbourhoods, tall buildings, or all of the above. 
urine is sadly not perfect. And there are issues we need to sort out before I get turned into fertiliser. Options like filtering, freezing, evaporating, heating, composting, oxidising and storing will all be rigorously tested and compared to reduce volume for transport, keep my nutrients stable, improve odour, <laughs> is that me? And address any risk from bacteria and viruses or things you swallow like caffeine and antibiotics. Once we narrow it down to the three best technologies, we'll test drive them in closely monitored field trials on lettuce, carrots and grains like wheat. And so step by carefully measured step, we're going to try to close the nutrient cycle gaps with urine diversion and treatment systems in order to create urine-derived fertiliser. This approach should reduce the cost, energy and pollution of making fertiliser and improve water quality as well as ideally saving water and reducing the cost of wastewater treatment. And we'll be doing it safely, efficiently and in consultation with the community. Every day, the average adult's urine has sufficient nutrients to fertilise enough wheat to make one loaf of bread. It seems a pity to waste it.